Well, guys, I'm a still, I'm still around. <laughs> yeah, come out to check on the smoker here now. We've got some uh, salmon char and trout in there. And first time using these. Some whiskey barrel chips. All oh, right, it's, it's going to take a little longer. I want a bit to nibble on while I'm watching the hockey game. Well, I'm going to try to piece them. Come back again at once. Look at that. Oh my, oh my. Mm -mm -mm. Well, uh, I never made a video in a while. Uh, a lot of you know that uh, I've been recovering from leg surgery. Uh, still going to take a little while to heal up proper yet. But I said I'd make a little video to give some updates, I guess. And just let the fire here in the shed because over here I got a goose that I want to hang up. I want to hang it up so I tie so that I can pick it off. And I'm going to have this one uh, baked up on my birthday. So that's going to be nice. I usually, I was keeping this one for Christmas Day, but the way the leg was, I, I was in no mood <laughs> uh, to tie and pick this goose. But I'm feeling a bit better now. I still got a bit of a recovery to go, but uh, slowly getting on the move, I guess. I was, uh, I was going to wait till uh, tomorrow to uh, light the fire here in the shed. But you know, uh, these geese, you know, with the feathers still on them, it takes a nice little while for them to tie. So, so you want to give them plenty of time, a little extra time to tie. That's going to just a smaller weight a bit. And just look what I got over here. I just took the, I took, took some of it last night. And that's the rest of the charred trout and smoked salmon. Just look at this. Oh, that is going to be nice. Obviously, I had a little taste test there, and I'm telling you, the flavor is fantastic. This is kind of like a cold smoked fish. Got like a little tiny crust on top there, and man, I tell you, this is so... Oh! It's, it's delicious. It really is. Oh man, it's unreal. That's good. That's real good. Well, happy new year, everybody. Uh, don't mind the mess. I, I need to take a day or two to clean the shit up a bit. But uh, but this evening now, uh, well, I was going to pick off the goose, but he's not tied real good. So I'm going to uh, take off the wings and pluck out some of the longer feathers and just hang it up and finish it off tomorrow. I'll leave the fire going in the shed all night. And I should give you a little bit of an update. I had my uh, surgery on the 6th and, you know, it was a, it was a pretty big cut. Uh, it was 50 staples, and after 14 days, he took out, uh, well, 12 days, he took out half the staples, roughly, and then a couple days later, he took out the rest, but when he took out the two two last ones, he kind of opened up a little bit, and I was getting fluid through there, and it was quite a bit of fluid at first, and now it was barely, it's still getting a little leakage, but but it's not much, so hopefully in another, another few days, everything will be sealed off real good, and probably probably be another couple of weeks before i get on the go real good so i still gotta be careful uh so i don't be doing too much yeah so i'll come back uh tomorrow morning now and finishing off and just look at that i have a lot of feathers there from my uh, trap sets
Oh God, <laughs> look at that. <laughs> a lot of time on my hands, so I learned how to uh, solve the Rubik's Cube. And now sometimes when I get up in the morning, you know, when I have my coffee, I'll solve them once in the morning and then once before I go to bed, just uh, just ingrain it in the head, you know, so I won't forget the, the algorithms. And now I'm gonna see if I can remember how to pick a goose. <laughs> uh, soft down, so I just should come out pretty easy here now. Well, I must say, he's looking pretty good there now, so I'm going to uh, put him in the refrigerator uh, until tomorrow. And before I go, a couple of things. First, I was just going to show how long I kept some of it down to come off that goose. I'm going to have a later uh, use for that. And I want to mention a bit of the contest. Uh, the contest will actually be in the next video that I uploaded. That I upload. I'm not 100% sure when that will be, but it'll be a few days from now for sure. And to make it easy for me, all I'm going to do is uh, mention something in a previous video. And the first person to name that video in the proximate time in that video wins the prize. And to give everyone like a little bit of a fair chance, I think what I might do is uh, in the community section on the channel, I'm going to upload a picture and I'll just say the video will be uploaded in a couple hours from now. Because obviously the, the first First people that get a chance to watch the video would have the, the best chance of actually figuring out why video or the, the answer that I'm looking for or whatever. So I hope that makes sense. <laughs> yeah, and the prize is going to be, I don't have it yet, but the prize will be uh, some type of uh, ice fishing kit. There's a local business here that make them, and I'm going to go down in a couple of days' time and pick one up. So I just hope they're not sold out. Uh, FDR, I guess I'll just wait for them to make me a new one. <laughs> so that's the plan. Uh, hope everyone is doing well and i really appreciate everyone inquiring about you know the surgery and whatnot i actually got an appointment tomorrow they're gonna change the bandage there again and have another look at it so uh, i'll get another little assessment again tomorrow so so i guess that's it though guys i really appreciate y'all watching uh you know i really want to get a video out there now whenever uh, i never uploaded one in a while and keep you all informed on what's going on and yeah i got a lot of plans you know another couple of weeks when it's all healed up good i'm gonna be out, out and about hunting and trapping and fishing and you know i'm, I'm eager to go so <laughs> yeah so i've been pinned up for a while but but look out when i get on the move <laughs> yeah that's enough of that so Oh.